Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, I will quickly show you how we can add a thumbnail column to a SharePoint online document library. I have an Office 365 SharePoint online site where I will I have a document library as well. In that document library, I added or uploaded some documents. We will see how we can create the thumbnail. So if I will just show you here is my library you can see here this is a modern library team pictures this is a document library not a picture library and i have uploaded some of the documents here you can see on this there are two ways that we can uh, add thumbnail column one new column in the first approach we will see how we can do from here so i'll click on add column and then you can see there is a picture column click on this and then give the column name as thumbnail so make sure to provide this name as thumbnail because if you will give any other column name then it will not work and make sure the type should be picture now click on save once you click on save you can see here the th thumbnail has been created it is creating for all uh, the files you can see here there is a rta file uh, this is a ppt file as well it is showing that excel file the thumbnail is still it will not come because this is not yet supported but the other columns you can see here uh, in for the image files you can clearly see the thumbnail view now in the other approach we will see how we can create a calculated column so i will just simply click over here and i will delete this column uh, i will just click on delete so you can see here the column has been deleted we don't have that column now so if i'll open now the team pictures you can see here only the name and then modified like this is there the other way what we can do is we can create a calculator column for that i'll go to click on this gear icon or the settings icon then i'll click on library settings if i'll scroll down you can see here there is an option where you can add the column so click on create column and then here also you need to make sure that you select thumbnail as the column name and then i'll click on calculate select the calculated column here you can see and then i will select the title click on add to formula that's the only thing that you are going to do on this and make sure the data type it returns a single line of text column and then click on ok so once you click on ok now i will go back to my team's picture you can see here this is the thumbnail column and you can see the thumbnail has been generated so again here also the same way the uh, excel file it will not generate the thumbnail because still it is not supported I have also written a complete article for both the approach. I will put the link in the video description. You can have a look at this. If you like to uh, our videos, kindly subscribe to our channel. Uh, you will get a lot of videos on SharePoint, Azure, Office 365, Power Apps, Flow, all these Microsoft technologies I have added. I usually add and you will get an update on that. This is our websites. Do visit our websites and Twitter handles, LinkedIn and Facebook pages. Do like us and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day.